Hey Legends, the first major buy round has come and gone, and I've got to say for me it was a pretty decent week, but not quite as good as it could have been. Thanks to my main man here, Joey Manu, who unfortunately put on a, uh, a bit of a stinker for the Roosters, and didn't really live up to the expected hype, especially given that uh, James Tedesco was a late exclusion from the Roosters team. So with all of that in mind, let's get into it. Okay, so here is the team as it stands in round 13. And unfortunately, we only crawled our way to about 630 points, which overall isn't too bad. I think it was a rank of around about 18,835, which on the surface is pretty damn good. But unfortunately, and we'll start with the uh, the big man himself, Joey Manu, only managed to get the 45. And uh, unfortunately, from a captaincy point of view, that just wasn't amazing, especially considering he was up against some massive scores from like Terrell May, Ewan Aitken, even Scotty Drinkwater down the bottom with his 81 was also pretty impressive. Now, just going through the team in terms of things that we liked, Jaden Braley was pretty solid for his 47. McKaylee with 15 in less than 15 minutes and then just didn't come back on. I don't really know what happened to McKaylee. He, uh, he might be considered for a trade out target this week. Maybe someone like a, a Sammy Fainu. I think he might be the, uh, the go. He gives us some pretty good flexibility in mid and edge. So it might be time uh, to punt good old Thomas McKaylee. Maxi Plath with his 59 was awesome. Max King with his 47 was okay. Pretty happy generally with that. He's very consistent. Nothing really high, nothing really low. Salmon back down to earth with his 22. Was hoping for probably somewhere around the mid 30s. I think that would have been a little bit better. But really great to see Kai Pierce Paul. Play the full 80 minutes for his 54. He was probably one of Newcastle's best on the weekend. Brendan Hands, he was great for his 55, especially considering he is so damn cheap. And the other really good thing for me this weekend is he does give me a half option if Nico Hines doesn't end up playing. KO Weeks, amazing. 68 points, really happy with that. Karaz, a bit of a quieter one for him and his 30. Joey Manu, what are you doing, buddy? Absolutely killed us from a sensational top 5,000 score this weekend, that's for sure. Scotty Drinkwater, 81, amazing. Trey Fuller, okay. He's probably going to be another trade-out target for me this weekend. I'm thinking a Ruben Garrick. And Armstrong, a little bit of a stinker, and we do have some question marks whether he will be in the Newcastle team or not this weekend, so that's a bit of a watch out as well. Now in the end, I didn't go with Eero, 43, he probably would have been better coming in for Karaz. In fact, he was almost as good as Joey Manu, and certainly a lot better than uh, Trey Fuller or David Armstrong, that's for sure. Sammy Hughes, a 10. He's probably another one on the chopping block this week. I'm down to about 10 or 11 trades. In fact, I just checked. It's only 10 trades. So I really don't want to make more than one or two. But I'm thinking this week, two might be the play. Mostly to get McKaylee or Hughes out. And, uh, and I've got to do something with Trey Fuller. And I'm thinking, like I said, Sammy Fainu is looking good. And Ruben Garrick also looks good, especially considering some of the uh, the buys that are coming up in the next few weeks. We really have to be trading to uh, to cover some of those buys. All right, looking at our performance, and you can see here that we really have started to uh, to climb the tree again. Ideally, we want to get somewhere back up to these lofty heights. You know, the, the ride has been pretty crazy over the last few weeks. We've been on this big downward spiral. We leveled out a little bit, and now hopefully we are on this upward trajectory. So right now, our rank is 28,700, and we are definitely heading in the right direction. Now, the good news this week is it does look like we can get 17 players on the park, but it will really come down to how many Origin players are likely to back up. You know, we've got Harry Grant, we've got Ruben Cotter, and we've got Nico Hines all available to play. And of course, we've also got 
Angus Crichton out on the bye. And we've also got Brendan Piakura. So overall, feeling pretty comfortable with the team that we are likely to put out on the park. But can't wait to uh, jump into Team List Tuesday. And hopefully we can continue to uh, to climb the ladder towards, you know, that top 20,000 this week. Maybe even into that top 15,000 as we progress more and more through these uh, these challenging buy rounds, that's for sure. Anyway, guys, look, if you've liked today's video, you know what to do. Smash that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, get involved in the conversation via the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.